tablets, laptops, PCs, smartphones, even game consoles, we all have at least one of them. Most average consumers probably have separate devices to do similar things, each with its own set of apps and its own app store. When Windows 10 came out, everything started to change and Universal Apps was one of Windows 10's main selling points and we're going to look at it now. Hi everyone, Jess from Dove Computer Solutions here. Universal Apps saves time, money and energy. Last autumn, we saw the release of Windows 10 and with that came Windows 10 Universal Apps, which are starting to change how we use apps and the App Store. Windows 10 features Universal Apps that automatically adapt to work on any Windows 10 powered device, no matter what the size. Not only will this mean your settings and preferences are carried across your devices, you'll also receive real-time info through live tiles and push notifications, whether you're using a smartphone, tablet, laptop, desktop or even a wearable. One of the biggest issues with Windows phones in the past, which I've heard so often, is the lack of A-level apps, giving universal apps big potential. If a developer can target the audience of not just Windows Phone users, but also PC users all at once, there's a good chance that more A-level apps will make it to the combined platforms, which, in turn, gives a better chance of more consumers moving over to Windows Phones. However, some of the best and most popular apps are still not available or universal. This is likely to change in 2016 as time goes on from the release of Windows 10, but for now, here is my top 5 universal Windows 10 apps that I use in day to day life. So first of all, as soon as I wake up, I use the app MyTube to listen to music and catch up on my favourite vloggers whilst I'm getting ready for work. Most people are put off by the lack of mainstream apps available for Windows phones, but with third party apps that work as well as this, there's absolutely no reason why not to go for Windows. MyTube does everything you need from a YouTube app and more. Not only does it let you upload directly to YouTube, it also lets you continue playing music whilst using other apps, something that even YouTube app can't do. You can download videos and audio to watch or to listen to later, view and play playlists even when offline, and receive notifications when your favourite channel uploads new videos. I use this app from my laptop whilst getting ready and then continue with the playlist right from where I left off in my car on my way to work, making this a fantastic universal Windows 10 app. There is a small cost up front, but for me personally in my daily life it's well worth the small cost. My second favourite Windows app is Wonderlist, and I can honestly say that I use this app all throughout the day, but mainly once I get to work and go through what I need to do in the day. If you love making lists and being organised, I can't stress enough how great this app is. You can make new lists personalised to your needs, adding to-dos and subheadings. For example, in my YouTube list where I keep a list of videos that I will potentially be working on in the future, I may add a to-do of a phone review. Underneath that, there will be subheadings saying write script, record script, film unboxing, etc. that you can tick off as you go. This helps really plan out every detail of your to-do which I haven't seen in any other list apps, not to mention Wonderlist is completely free. Let me know down below what list app you use. My third favourite Windows 10 Universal app is Duolingo, which is amazing for if you're travelling abroad or travel a lot on business. Not only is this app fantastic for if you just booked a holiday, like in my case, but it's also perfect for educational purposes, as it can help students who are studying many languages. When setting it up, it allows you to choose the language you want, the skill level you're at, and how serious you are about learning the language. Often first thing in the morning or in my lunch break, I'd practice on my phone, but it's always good to be able to pick it up from my tablet when I get home and continue right from where I left off. The Uber app is brilliant to see that it's now universal as it has huge potential and is useful for viewing your history when out and about. The fact you can pay, communicate and find the best price through the app makes it fantastic for time saving. After your trip, they email you a receipt and your fare will be charged automatically at the end of your journey. In the week I don't have the need for it as it's only a short commute to work 
But in the weekend or whenever I'm in London or any big cities, it's always amazing to have installed just in case. Not only this, but new Windows users get their first ride free up to a certain amount with a code that you can get from the App Store. Last but not least is my all time, and probably many others, favourite Universal app. Netflix is the world's leading subscription service for watching TV episodes and movies. Despite the US version having a lot more choice than the UK version, Netflix is seriously worth the small monthly fee. Not to mention, I can start watching my favourite TV shows or films on my lunch break, and when I get home and fire up my tablet to carry on before I go to sleep, it's right from where I left it. With new episodes and films getting added regularly, it's no wonder it's so popular. So that's my top 5 best universal apps for Windows 10. What are yours? Let me know down below. That's all for now and thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe if you enjoyed and check out our other videos. Thank you.